Hey guys, this is my first Windows 8, uh, first look, first, uh, what I think of the actual release and whatnot video, plus what I think the, uh, advantages and disadvantages are. So, right to get to it, um, the second you log in, you're hit with this. What is this? If you've ever seen a Windows phone, it doesn't have a normal menu app or something like every other phone on the market does. It has these things called tiles. So let's say I go into the Pop Science app, right? Let's say I go look at something. And then and then I leave. This thing will keep updating with different uh like articles and whatnot. Same thing right here. New York Times, all of these are the main articles for today. I leave updating. It's gonna keep going. It's not gonna stop. It's not a boring icon like we've seen with all other w versions of Windows. Everything is updating, everything is gonna keep going, 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 going. It's never gonna stop. Another thing I really like about Windows 8 is that you also have the option of the Windows 7 uh, desktop if you need it. So if you're not completely ready to convert to this new Metro style desktop, you still have this option. Now let's say you need to do a search, all right? And let's say you need to search Wikipedia and you need to search Newegg for some reason those two, all right? So instead of having to go to both websites and then typing in both into both website places and whatnot, you can go to right here to the search option. And then let's say you want to look for a car game. Let's say you're going to search the Windows App Store first. So after you type in car game, so first you just going to look in your apps. Nothing there. Let's search the store. All right, this is what we found in the store. Let's see what's on Newegg. Now let's see what's on Wikipedia. See. Everything is in this one search area. You don't have to go to eight different websites. You don't have to go to eight different applications. It's one place for as many searching as you have to do. As much searching as you have to do. There's no reason to spend an hour searching eight different apps for one thing. Right here you have everything you could possibly need. Another thing I like about Windows 8 is how everything is so streamlined. All the edges are nice, all the designing is nice. Kind of annoying how, how s you're always going to have one blob where all of your icons there are really, they're just cluttered because you don't know where to put them. Like I have all of my office applications over here, all of my store bought stuff over here. And then my uh, Windows 7 desktop stuff over here. But over here I have a giant blob of stuff I don't know what to do with. So if there's maybe a way to hide those or put those. See if you press minus here you can get to like a huge area. So if there's a way to maybe move this and hide it and not have it dried back. That would be awesome. But right now there's none. So hopefully someone will come up with an app or Microsoft will release an app that does that. Now what I like about Windows 8 is that it's super light, it makes everything easy, touch of a finger and you're there, and also it's not that bad when it comes to price, it's only $40 for now, Windows 8 Pro, uh, probably will increase in the future, but it's not the 100 and whatever we're paying for with Windows 7. I've been using it, I've been using Windows 8 ever since the developer preview, and then after that the consumer preview, and the release preview, and then the RTM, and now we finally have the actual release and I like it and I've been using it for a year so I know all of the navigation there's been little changes here and there but it's not that bad it's not drastic but then there comes the downside if someone is like part of a company and let's say the company has an IT guy this IT guy is going to be going nuts because the second he switches everyone to Windows 8 he's gonna have people have no idea what they're doing because the second that it loads up you're looking at this you're looking at this metro style thing people are gonna be going crazy saying what do I do I do not know how to use this and I think the biggest problem for Microsoft is gonna be having Windows 8 mitts in a corporate environment where it's not people who know computers it's people who have normal jobs and need to use computers for those jobs so I think that will be the biggest challenge for Microsoft. But other than that, I think Windows 8 is one of the best parts I've ever seen. Along with the Office 2013, that's going to be coming with the Surface tablet. Or you can just download the uh, the preview for it if you have Windows 7. 
uh, or Windows 8. I'm not sure about Vista if you can get it or not. But the Office 2013 beta, I really like the Office too. Especially that the second I go to save, I can save it to my computer, or I can save it to my flash drive, or I can make another place wherever I want that I can save it to. I think it's really smart. And one of my f and then another one of my favorite applications on Windows is the Messenger app. So let me just demonstrate this right here. If I go right here to search, right, and I type in messaging, there it is, right in my app. Throw it on. So let's say I want to start a message, and let's say this is with Facebook, and I, just, nah, I can't even reply to this. But if I take this and I leave it and I lock it to the right, and then on this I go to my Metro, and then I go to my Windows. This is still open on the side. So I can open up a Google Chrome, and I can go to my Amazon, right? I can use both. I don't have to deal with a really annoying setup where I have to keep going back and forth, open up something else, go back, and then go back, and go back, and go back. And also, the half and half works pretty well, but even with the half and half, there are some limitations because some apps won't look right like that. So like this, I have complete Google Chrome and also if I have a Facebook message or something, I can do it right through here with no problem. This has been my final review on Windows 8. Thanks for watching, comment and subscribe with any concerns.